नमस्कार इंडिया मेटोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम्स यू इन डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग येस्टरडेज लो प्रेशर एरिया ओवर साउथ ईस्ट बे ऑफ बंगाल एंड एट ज्वाइनिंग साउथ अंडमान सी हैज बिकम अ वेल मार्क लो प्रेशर एरिया ओवर द सेम रीजन एट फाइव थर्टी आवर्स आई एस टी ऑफ टूडे एंड दिस वेल मार्क लो प्रेशर एरिया एज वी कैन सी हियर इन दिस ट्रैक दैट एट नाइन जीरो जीरो uh utc it is uh, uh, having maximum sustained wind speed of 15 knots and it is likely to become depression by today's evening and then it is likely to become a cyclonic storm by tomorrow that is 10th of may evening and further it would uh, start uh, it would keep moving and uh, then it is likely to become a uh, a uh, Uh, likely to have a wind speed of 50 knot and further increase uh, uh, the wind speed wind speed is likely to further increase and uh, uh, attain 80 knot of wind speed by 13th uh, may morning this uh, this uh, uh, well mark low pressure area which is likely to become a depression by today evening tomorrow as a cyclonic storm is likely to move initially north north westward as we can see over here and is uh, likely to move uh, north north westward and then uh, uh, from uh, there from the uh, north western part of the uh, south east bay of bengal it is likely to start recurving and start moving north north eastward and uh, then uh, while moving north north eastward it is it is likely to cross east central bay of bengal and then uh, uh, then it is likely to make its landfall over bangladesh myanmar coast so uh, 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 under the influence of this uh, low pressure area and its likely intensification into a cyclonic storm uh, during next 3 days that is up to 11 uh, 11th of may heavy to very heavy rainfall at isolated places is likely over andaman and nicobar island and on uh, on uh, 12th and 13th there is a likelihood of isolated heavy rainfall now if we come over to the uh, fisherman warnings related to this uh, uh, system then uh, Uh, today there is uh, uh, 50 to 60 uh, kmph gusting to 70 kmph uh, winds are prevailing over southeast bay of bengal and over the adjoining parts of uh, uh, south andaman sea and uh, over the uh, over this area the, the remaining parts of uh, southeast bay of bengal and adjoining parts of east central and uh, southwest bay of bengal the wind speed is 40 to 50 gusting to 60 this wind speed with the intensification of the system is likely to increase to uh, likely to increase to gale wind of 80 to 90 kmph gusting to 100 kmph by tomorrow uh, tomorrow night uh, uh, over over southeast bay of bengal and adjoining parts of uh, central bay of bengal and over the adjoining areas the wind speed is uh, likely to uh, decrease slightly over over parts of uh, east central bay of bengal and west central bay of bengal into uh, into uh, 80 to 90 and then uh, 70 to 70 to 80 gusting to 90 and then 60 to 70 gusting to 80 by by uh, 11th of may the wind speed with the further intensification of the system is likely to become uh, it is likely to become 100 to 110 kmph gusting to 120 kmph over the central Uh, east central and uh, east central bay of bengal and adjoining parts of south uh, east and west central bay of bengal and it is uh, likely to further increase on uh, on 12th of may uh, to uh, the the uh, gale winds of of the order of 130 to 140 kmph gusting to gusting to 150 kmph over east central bay of bengal and adjoining areas of uh, uh, and adjoining areas of northwest bay of bengal and is is uh, this uh, wind speed of 130 to 140 kmph over east central bay of bengal and adjoining parts of uh, north uh, north east bay of bengal uh, is likely to persist on 13th of may as well so under the influence of this uh, the advisory is issued for regulation of tourism and offshore activities and shipping near andaman and nicobar islands uh, till 12th of may and uh, regulation of shipping activity over the sea areas of southeast bay of bengal and central bay of bengal and andaman sea is uh, advised till 13th of may so this was uh, all about the uh, uh, 
likely uh, system, likely cyclonic storm over the southeast and east central Bay of Bengal. And then if we come over to general weather, then uh, uh, we can see over here that uh, isolated heavy rainfall has been observed over uh, one or two stations of Odisha and then South India Karnataka, one station of South India Karnataka and uh, then Kerala and Tamil Nadu and Arunachal Pradesh. If we look into maximum temperatures, then the maximum temperatures are in the range of 40 to 42 degrees centigrade over northern parts of Gujarat, over uh, Rajasthan, over Bihar, uh, over, over Bihar, southern parts of Bihar, over Jharkhand, over interior Odisha, north Chhattisgarh, and the southern parts of MP, and over this uh, West Bengal. And these uh, maximum temperatures over rest parts of the country are less than 40, 40 degree of centigrade. So during next five days, the temperatures are very likely to increase by uh, almost two to four degrees centigrade. And uh, due to this uh, situation, uh, isolated uh, isolated heat wave conditions are likely over uh, Gangetic West Bengal, adjoining parts of some, some Himalayan West Bengal during next three days, and also over Bihar during next three days. And if we uh, look into the remaining weather, so thunderstorm activity over the parts of Northwest India and Central India has uh, uh, almost stopped and there is uh, likely dry weather over the uh, over Northwest India, especially plains of Northwest India and Central India, uh, the dry weather would prevail during next five days. All over Southern Peninsular India, the thunderstorm activity was scattered to fairly widespread light moderate rainfall over Karnataka, over Kerala, over uh, uh, Tamil Nadu, southern parts of Andhra Pradesh and Rayal Sima is likely to continue during next 24 hours and thereafter it is likely to decrease significantly. Although isolated heavy rainfall likelihood would continue there over Kerala during next uh, three days and uh, also over, uh, over South India Karnataka during next three days and over Tamil Nadu during next 24 hours. So that's all for today. Tomorrow we'll again meet with Delhi weather briefing for weather warning during next five days. Thank you and goodbye.